In the late 1960s, as part of the social justice movement, community health centers were established to fill the medical care gap that was left by disappearing private physicians in urban and isolated rural areas. The first community health center was established in 1965 at the Columbia Point Housing Project in Boston by Drs. Jack Geiger and Count Gibson. The main mission of health centers is threefold, to provide comprehensive services, to address the social conditions that affect health, and to support the community in fostering needed change. At Lynn Community Health Center, we are unique. Founding partners Bill Manzoukas and Steve Hayes grew the health center from our genesis as a counseling center towards a full-fledged, federally qualified community health center. We began as a small storefront mental health clinic on Chestnut Street in 1971 in response to a lack of mental health services in our community. That mental health clinic served 500 patients in its first year and was open to anyone who walked in our doors regardless of ability to pay. This was quite revolutionary at the time. Four years later, we outgrew those facilities and moved to Lafayette Park on Goldfish Pond, expanding our mission to include primary care services. From our very beginning, our teams have provided these comprehensive wraparound services and fully integrated healthcare. 50 years later, our broad array of integrated services includes primary care, behavioral health care, dental and eye services, obstetrics and gynecology, social services, health education services, and an ever-expanding variety of specialty teams and programs. At Lynn Community Health Center, we have grown organically, one patient at a time. There's always been a clarity of purpose and philosophical honesty. Mental health services was primary for that period of time in Lynn to a population that never got service like this. We were on a small storefront in Chestnut Street in, in Lynn, and we started to provide services. We then proceeded to establish, really, an operating entity. With that, the health center was born. We were a part of this community. Steve Hayes and I really took that concept and established the health center that you see today. Back then, it was very much like now. There's a, a time of turmoil and a time of change and a time of division in the, in the country and a time of people looking at the future. It's just stunning to me, the depth of our services. It's astonishing what the health center has done and how it's grown. And very proud of how we kept that original mission in focus and how we kept it alive all those years. We never veered from it. Hiring the right person at the right time for the right reasons. It's monumental in, in terms of the kind of stability and growth and impact that the health center has had. I can't wait to see what Kiami and his team do moving forward. I think this team is just, I don't know, I think it's just spectacular. In the early days, our team numbered about five. Today, our team is over 650 staff strong, including 150 board certified clinicians. Our dedicated professionals provide this care to more than 43,000 patients in Lynn, and our operations contribute $147 million in economic impact to the local economy. Extending from our main sites, many health centers are embedded in the Lynn Public Schools, removing many barriers to care so that services are delivered directly where they are needed, when they are needed. Our mission today is the same as it was in 1971, to provide comprehensive, integrated health care of the highest quality to everyone in our community, regardless of ability to pay. As a community health center, we concentrate on the most vulnerable, both from an economic and an access standpoint. Changes that sweep through society are foreshadowed in our work as a social justice and healthcare institution. We began as a response to shifts in society, and as we journey into the next half a century of social justice and public health, we are shaping care for a world where deep inequities are broadly exposed. How does an institution prepare for fundamental paradigm change, especially a change with no template? We design the template. Coming changes to the healthcare systems loom large, and they are not guaranteed to focus on equity and justice. It is both our privilege and our responsibility to design a model that is truly patient-centered and firmly anchored in social justice. The potential impact for patients and families living in communities served by health centers throughout the United States is breathtaking. 
From the beginning of the first community health centers, our tradition is one of fierce commitment to each patient's human dignity. We remain dedicated to designing patient-centered systems that support each one of us throughout our lives, our family's lives, and our community life. <laughs>